Progressive web apps are coming to the desktop. The generic sensor API makes it way easier to get access to device sensors like the accelerometer, gyroscope, and more. And BigInt makes dealing with big integers way easier. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 67. Desktop progressive web apps are now supported on Chrome OS, and we've already started working on support for Mac and Windows. Once installed, they're launched in the same way as other apps and run in an app window without an address bar or tabs. Service workers ensure that they're fast and reliable. The app window experience makes them feel integrated and they create an engaging experience for your users. Getting started isn't any different than what you're already doing today. All of the work that you've already done for your existing progressive web app still applies. You simply need to consider some additional breakpoints. If your app meets the standard progressive web app criteria, Chrome will fire the before install prompt event, but it won't automatically prompt the user. Instead, save the event, then add some UI, like an install app button to your app to tell the user that your app can be installed. Then when the user clicks on that button, call prompt on the saved event. Chrome will then show the prompt to the user. If they click add, Chrome will add your progressive web app to their shelf and launcher. Sensor data is used in many apps to enable experiences like immersive gaming, fitness tracking, augmented reality, or virtual reality. This data is now available to web apps using the generic sensor API. The API consists of a base sensor interface with a set of concrete sensor classes built on top. Having a base interface simplifies the implementation and specification process for the concrete sensor classes. For example, the gyroscope class is super tiny. The core functionality is specified by the base interface, and the gyroscope merely extends it with three attributes representing angular velocity. Chrome 67 supports the accelerometer, gyroscope, orientation sensor, and motion sensor. Intel has put together a page with a whole bunch of amazing demos and sample code. And they've also updated the updates post from September with everything you need to know. Both are linked in the description. BigInt are a numeric primitive in JavaScript that can represent integers with arbitrary precision. Large integer IDs and high accuracy timestamps can't be safely represented as numbers in JavaScript which often leads to real-world bugs, because we end up representing them as strings instead. With BigInt, we can safely store and perform integer arithmetic without overflowing. Today, dealing with these large integers typically means that we have to resort to a library that would emulate BigInt-like functionality. When BigInt become widely available, we'll be able to drop these runtime dependencies in favor of native BigInt. Not only is the native implementation faster, it'll help reduce load time, parse time, and compile time because we won't have to load those extra libraries. Firefox and Safari have already started working on big int implementations, and you can learn more by checking out Matthias's big int post. Oh, and click that subscribe button, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 68 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.